Uh, this afternoon I had a walk from the city uh, up to uh, Auto N. Uh, this is a place 200 meter higher and I have tracked this fork uh, with my Garnim um, device and now I want to demonstrate how I can import this path into FreeCAD. First uh, here is uh, the file on the GPS tracker and I have made a copy into this temp area of my computer. The data structure oh what's now is this uh, here we have a header GPS GPX data and on this place we have the positions LAT and LON coordinates the height and here is the timestamp. So this is already my uh, loaded map of this position and we have Here is the height of the house, of the buildings, and these are the, the highways, the streets. Okay, and I have also calculated the skin of the earth in these places. And here we have outdoor in. And now uh, there is a dialog import GPX and what I have to do I have to type in the input file name this is my GPX uh, file the next is the location it's the same value like this here for my map and the last uh, value is the relative height of my start point. I started in the city town about 200 meters lower than this place. Okay, that's all. I run it. Okay, and what I have now is uh, th there are two lines. I hide this. The first one is my track. It starts here, it's the first point, and then you can see I go up to outdoor in. I walk around the building, and then I go this street down and back. Here there were two parallel uh, streets. This was the street and this is in a way. Okay, and now when I compare the heights recorded with the real heights, then I see some differences. Here we have some uh, intervals where we are lower than the heights of the open street map. I think that is caused because the uh, tracker uses uh, the air pressure to record the high. You may see there are some differences. And so I have also drawn a track which is 20 meters higher than the recorded values. This is the blue line. And when we look at the path we see here all the control points the trigger uh, records one point in uh, every minute and you can see here there are intervals with high speed and 
also here here was a small break okay and we can also see here the, the highways and you see here we enter the street these all are streets and once again we leave the streets okay that's all all what is new in geodata we have now a new function import gbx track data